hello again. Really glad you could join us again today, and I hope, as always, that it will do you good. Well, we're coming to the God's Word. We're coming to something that is powerful and active and able to minister to us in, in, in wonderful ways as the Holy Spirit speaks. So let's pray and we'll get to what the Lord's got for us today. So Lord, thank you so much. Thank you that not a day goes past. You're not attentive to us, thinking of us, caring for us, cheering us on, as it were, as your children. Lord, we, we, we want to walk with you today. And so we pray that you speak to us. To come, Holy Spirit, help us, strengthen us as a result of these few moments today. In Jesus' name. Amen. Okay, we're in 1 Peter and we're in chapter 5. We didn't get very far yesterday. We did, we did one verse, I think. We're in chapter 5, 1 Peter 5, verse 8. And we saw that verse, Be alert and sober-minded because your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion looking for someone to devour. Okay, so we've got an enemy and uh, he's real and it's, it's a thinking, plotting, scheming enemy and he looks to uh, take a bite out of us, to take away our joy, to spoil our walk with the Lord. Okay, and so we're told to be alert and sober-minded. We're not sloppy in our thinking. That's kind of it. It's so important, you know. Um, I think there's other, there's all kinds of um, implications here. Uh, you've, uh, I've mentioned in my, in, in my book the whole thing of what ifs. Goodness me. What a waste of time they are. How dis destructive they are when we allow ourselves to go there. What if, what if, what? We can be depressed in five minutes. And if, if you've had a serious illness, you, you'll know that's true. When you wake up in the morning, you start asking what if questions, you'll be down the drain in moments. No, no, don't go there. I'm not, be, again, there we are. Be alert and a sober mind. I'm not going there with what ifs. Potential worries, fears and so on. Be alert, sober-minded. Recognise that we've got an enemy who will play on loose thinking. Lingering too long, watching stuff, reading stuff. No, no, that's going to be, that's not going to help me. I'm going to be alert and sober-minded. So, because recognising we've got an enemy. Um, roaring lion, we spoke about fiery darts yesterday from... Uh, uh, Ephesians chapter 6, fiery darts, and I made the point that I think fiery darts are those things that, those changes of emotion that hit us all it, quite suddenly. Suddenly it's a, a fear comes in and it kind of burns, a fear comes in. That's a fiery dart, I believe. It's a spiritual thing. We need to recognise it. A, 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 a fear, a temptation, a um, so those sort of, you, you get the idea. I think those are fiery darts. They they, they come in quickly, and they, they 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 burn. They kind of get our attention, and we need to recognise what's going on, and know what to do. So what do we do? Well, look, next verse, verse nine. Resist him. That's good, isn't it? Good news. Resist him. That tells me that it, it, it it's possible. We can and should resist. We're children of God. We have the Holy Spirit in us. We're, we're not left to our own devices. Resist him. Uh, standing firm in the faith. Because you know that the family of believers throughout all the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. We're the, we're the army of God. We're, we're, the, the, it is warfare. The, the kingdom is coming. We're advancing. But it is warfare. Okay? So... Resist him. I think that's really encouraging. We don't have to, to feel that uh, we're dead meat, so to speak. No, no, no. Resist him. How do we do that? Well, several ways. Uh, there's some uh, prayer. You know, the power of prayer. God, oh, help me here. Please help me. That's resisting. Okay, Re prayer. Uh, the, the promises of God. Um, of course, I'm trying to think right now of a, of a strong one. Um, um, <laughs> uh, oh dear, why, why can I never think of it? Uh, but you, you, the promises of God, I will never leave you or forsake you. Um, 
Cast all your cares on him. He cares for you. My God, you know, there's so many ways. The promises of God, just, that's why it's good to memorize scripture. We did in, in our day, didn't we? And or some of us were a bit older. Uh, so having, having promises to, 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 to mind, no temptation has overcome you that's common to man. You know, God has given us a way of escape that we may endure it. Oh God, thank you. We Promises. Okay, so when we feel tempted, when we feel those onslaughts of fear, doubt, whatever, resist him. No, Satan. I'm just thinking now uh, uh, of Martin Luther. There's a story that when he was uh, holed up in that castle, uh, hiding away there, and I think he used his time to translate the uh, the New Testament. Anyway, he so aware of the enemy around him, tempted. He he got out of his ink pot and <laughs> threw it across the room at the door. Blow you, saying go. <laughs> you know and. So these are the ways we can, you know, we, we, we can resist the devil. Prayer, the promises of God, literally um, speaking out like that. No, no Satan, I'm, I'm not having that. That's not a bad thing to be doing. Um, it's a good thing to be doing. There are various ways of resisting. Um, worship, that's a great way of resisting the enemy. Uh, as you know, as soon as you start to worship and sing and praise, the Holy Spirit who glorifies Jesus, will rise up within you. So this is how we resist the devil, through prayer, through the promises of God, through worship, through so perhaps being a bit dramatic, Satan, go in the name of Jesus, get out of my life. I'm not having that. Uh, what's another one? Fellowship, friends, uh, you know, hey, pray for me. I'm, I'm feeling under the cosh at the moment. The, what, the joy of friendship, the Christian fellowship. We were never meant to live the Christian life on our own. So these are all ways that we resist the devil. You can probably think of some more. Um, but it's very, this is very practical stuff. And I, I think this is really encouraging because it tells me that we can and should resist the devil. And I think, you know, it, it, it's quite important this. That these two verses show us that, yes, we do have a formidable enemy who we, we, we don't mess about with. You know, he, yes, he... he he, he's got teeth, so to speak, um, but he's not, uh, in, 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 he's not invincible. He, he, he's not going to, uh, we, we're not to be afraid, we're not to be fearful of him. Do you get the idea? Um, so we, we don't cower in the face of our enemy. We stand firm and we resist. And this verse tells me that we can and should. Does that make sense? So it's a balance here. Yes, our enemy is very real. We do not take him for granted. No, we will not fear him and cower and be in fear and trembling. We will resist in the name of the Lord Jesus. In our praying, in the, using the promises of God, in worshipping, the fellowship, others helping us, standing with us. God, pray for me. I'm under pressure at the moment. That's what we're called to do. Resist him, standing firm in the faith. OK, that speaks to me of the promises of God. Oh, my if God is for me. Who can be against me? He who didn't spare his own son, but gave him for me. How will he not therefore with with him give me all things? The promises of God. OK, um, stand firm in the faith. Because you know that the family of believers throughout the world is undergoing the same kind of suffering. This is something of the nature of the Christian life. Um, we're on, a, we're on a journey, yes, we, we've got a wonderful destiny and future, um, but meanwhile, we need to walk by faith. We need to walk with the full armour of God on to keep us safe and strong. I've only got through one verse again today, um, but my time's gone. I'm going to pray for us again as we finish. This is so important. I hope you're learning. I hope you'll take hold of what we do, we've done these last two days. It's really, really important and makes such a difference in our daily walk with the Lord. So Father, I pray, I pray, please help us. Oh Lord, I pray that, that we won't just get knocked over. We know we've got an enemy. I pray, would you help us to learn how to stand strong in your name, helmet of salvation guarding our minds, shield of faith, not allowing those fiery darts to, to burn and linger in our hearts and minds. The joy of fellowship, Lord, help us to walk well 
Help us to grow to maturity, Lord, in this and not be uh, babes, as it were, who are quickly knocked over. Lord, I pray, strengthen us by your grace. Thank you that you're with us. Help us to stand even today where there's going to be uh, things confronting and thrown at us that we need to we need to stand firm in your name. So please go with us, I pray. May we take hold of these, these wonderful, helpful words in Jesus' name. Amen. I really hope you're getting hold of the things we're sharing this, this week. So, so really important. And uh, I hope you have a great day. God bless. Bye now.